Hi, this is Stephen Brower, and this is a continuation of the intro to virtual memory using demand paging. In the prior video, when we were um, loading pages into memory, um, all of our pages are free. If we look at the screen where we are right now, um, right now there's only one page free, and so the idea is if we need two new pages, um, that we then have to take one of the other pages and then write it out. So well, let's show the situation. Suppose now job seven starts. And job seven starts, and the one page that was free was that page 15. So the page zero for job seven is going into 15. Its page map table is updated to say yes, it is a page 15. Suppose that job seven also then needs to reference page one and page two, but currently they're not in memory. So the operating system will have to determine what pages to remove. Well, in this chapter, we're going to look at several different algorithms that are used for determining what page is the one that should be removed. One of the ones is first in, first out. And that would mean that the page that has been in memory the longest is the one that would be removed. So not necessarily recently referenced, just the one that's been in the memory the longest. So let's just suppose that it's these two pages here job uh, for job four these two pages here are the ones that have been in the longest so what the operating system will have to do is take these two pages write them to the disk update the page map table to say they're no longer in memory and remove these references as well once those are written to the disk so here we're showing these pages are written to the disk and the page map table has been um, updated now the operating system can allocate these two pages to job seven for page one and page two and update its page map table to say that they're there. So now job seven, um, pages one and two are loaded into frames four and five. The page map table has been um, updated to indicate that um, they, these are now in memory. So with virtual memory, uh, demand paging, when uh, a page is needed and there's no free page available, the operating system has to determine what page or pages are the ones that need to be written out to the disk. So within this chapter three, we'll take a look at different algorithms uh, for writing the pages to the disk and we'll see how those different algorithms perform in terms of um, you know, we, we call every time we have to read from the disk or write to the disk, we call that a page fault. Uh, and we want to minimize those page faults as much as possible.